And with us now is Democratic Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois. Uh, great to have you. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us. What do you want to hear from President Biden tonight? Well, I think that it's going to be a celebration of Joe Biden. He's going to be talking about his accomplishments, and he has a lot to talk about, whether it's the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, in which, you know, we have $35 a month insulin for seniors, and now 10 prescription drug drugs have been negotiated downward in price, or it's the bipartisan infrastructure deal or the chips and science deal, which is bringing manufacturing jobs back to the United States. He has a lot to talk about. Now he's passing the torch to Kamala Harris to continue the progress and build upon what he's done already. You meant that word continue. It, it's so interesting because, of course, that's part of it, this continuity from the Biden uh, term. Obviously, she's his vice president. But whatever you think of, of his record when it comes to the economy, inflation, immigration, polls show that perception of his performance on those issues are not so good. So how does she navigate that sort of that continuity, but also seeking some distance from Biden? Well, I think that she gets to, as your previous commentator said, define herself, define where she stands on these issues. She gets to make a, uh, she gets a second chance at making a first impression um, in terms of, you know, talking about the parts that she wants to keep and then the parts that she wants to change as she goes forward. And that's based on her experience as being vice president. And so I think um, this is a real key moment for the country to learn how she's thinking about these issues as well. The Biden economy, as it is perceived by voters, by all voters, does she own that? I think that she owns certain parts, but she also gets to decide, you know, what she would change going forward. So, for instance, you know, talking about making sure that our markets uh, perform better in terms of competition, making sure that we get rid of barriers to entry by small businesses so that we can bring down prices and increase the supply of everything from goods and services to housing. Um, I think those are all things that she's going to be talking about. I'm, I'm curious how you, as a proud Indian American, are experiencing this week so far, what this means to you as you are going to be watching the first candidate of Indian heritage accepting the nomination of your party. That's huge, huge, huge moment of pride. Um, you know, we have somebody who she actually hails from the exact same part of the uh, of India that my parents and my family that do. Her family does. Yes. And so because of that, um, there's just um, a lot of um, anticipation about this moment. And uh, we're going to have, uh, you know, uh, someone who was a member of the Samosa Caucus in Congress, you know, go to the White House and bring some curry power, power to, uh, <laughs> to the new ticket. I do wonder, um, as you go through the DNC platform, which I'm sure that you have read in every word of it, um, it actually, it mentions President, former President Trump 150 times. It mentions Vice President Harris 32 times. What signal does that send to you? Well, I think that what it sends is we need, we, we need to make sure we don't go back to the Trump days, right? I think that what really galvanizes everybody who's going to be here tonight is a resolve that we move forward. Um, and that, you know, Kamala Harris is at the lead to kind of bring us together, bringing the country together, making sure that everyone, regardless of the color of their skin or where they come from, you know, has a place in America. Um, and secondly, that everyone is on the up escalator of the economy, regardless of whether they're poor, middle class or growing a business. And so I think we can't go back to a time, an age of Trump where, you know, the country is divided. And when you're divided, you can't unite against our common challenges. You wish she had more mentions in that platform? Oh, I think that she has... 50 to 32? I think she has plenty, and she's going to have a lot to say this week. Yeah, it's going to be obviously a very big week. Congressman, thank you so much. Really appreciate thank your time you, Brianna. at the beginning of this week.